Good morning, everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation, and I'm here today to share with you my uh, kind of, I guess, last Halloween project of the year that I just finished literally five minutes ago. Um, it's a really quick project, and it was really simple and easy to do, and I just wanted to kind of give you a, a show and tell and a, a quick bit of a tutorial, I guess, to share with you how I did it. I used a Daisy Journal Company kit that she gives out for free at the first of every month. She sends a printable that is like 25 pages long and it has all kinds of really awesome images. And I've used several of her kits before and they're just amazing. So I'll put the links down below. If you just subscribe to her, she'll send them to you and they are totally free of charge. So I, this kit was absolutely stunning and I had it in my stash, I've been wanting to use it, and I dug it out, and I decided to kind of um, go to town with an idea that I had. So let me tell you about my idea, and then we'll go into what it looks like when I got it done. So um, I had, from the dollar store, they had these plastic coffin containers that I bought a bunch of them, and I'm going to give them away tomorrow for Halloween, because today is the 30th. And uh, I filled them full of candy and things like that. What I ended up doing was I took it and I traced it from the container. I traced the coffin shape. And then I went ahead and I spent some time. And I had this Magic Matter set from Puzzle Mates. I've had this for a very, very long time. I have no idea if it's available or not. But it has these three metal discs that you can trace around a shape and, and create mats. And I don't even think there is a date on here. Um, but it says PuzzleMates.com. If they're still available, I have no idea, but that's um, what I use to create some extra shapes. But then I have gone and made shapes of my own to kind of create bigger mats because this one only came um, one eighth, one quarter and three eighths inch for matting. And so I did some different shapes and I just kind of punched some lightweight chipboard and then punched a hole in it and created my own little, um, you know, mat. So um, this one is a half an inch. So this is a one inch circle. The hole in the middle is roughly a half an inch. So I could go ahead and, and trace. And I've got them all the way up to, I think, one inch that I've created for my own use. Um, so, so what I ended up doing was I created all of these shapes. Now, this one here I actually used for the paper collection. But um, you can see I created all these really cool coffin shapes so I could do some layered things or whatever. And I'm going to keep this in my stash as a template, and I'm going to be able to use that later. So let me show you what I did with the paper collection and with the coffin shape that I created. Uh, the papers are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And I went to Office Depot and I had like downloaded the images onto a flash drive and I went and printed them out uh, with their laser color printer. I've done it at home on my inkjet and it worked great, but this is way better. <laughs> so um, I highly suggest that you do that. I printed them out on some um, off-white paper that was a heavier card stock and honestly I can't remember what it was for this one but uh, it really works well and it looks beautiful so on this image here this was a page I just folded it in half because some of the pages she has like journaling pages let me show you um, if I have one left because I think I nope I used them all <laughs> I used them all but she has all kinds of different images she has full page images she has journaling pages and all that and so um, I just kind of went to town trying to see what all I could do with it. So I just did this nice little tag album. I bound it with a, a book ring. I added some ribbon for my stash and then I tied this cute little skull and um, bones on it just to make a little tassel um, that I thought matched pretty well. Um, I folded this paper in half. It was eight and a half by 11. And then I just fussy cut out this image here to kind of create the cover for this particular little tag book. Her images had little tags. On these, I put some of the journaling pages behind it 
uh, to create a little journaling spot. I had some graphic 45 tags in my stash, so that's where I got the ring from as well. So on this one, I just used the paper. Isn't that gorgeous paper? I just, I love the images. On the back of this one, she had a little pocket. It was actually an envelope, and I created a pocket out of it. And then I used one of the little cut-aparts that she has, ripped the edges, I inked everything, and then I put that in there as a little tag. Here's a, an envelope. So this one... Um, I used as a pocket. This one I kept as an envelope. And then when you turn it over, I backed it with some of the pattern paper that was in the collection. I mean, is this gorgeous or what? All of these images are in her kit. So then I have a little bit of a cut apart that I put in there for like a journaling spot. And then she had these cute little tombstone cards that I just cut out and tucked in there for a journaling spot. Here was a a card that she had done with a word. I just cut it out, ripped the edge and put that on there. And then here is a journaling spot that I used from the journaling page and I just kind of folded it on itself and then cut it out as a tag. So you had a nice little journaling tag here. Um, since I didn't make this into a book, I have used her images and things as books, as junk journals, but this one I wanted to make a tag album. On the back here, I used another piece of the journaling page and another one of the word papers. Um, another tag here, and all of the tags are backed with the journal paper, and I did them crooked on purpose. Now, here is one of the papers that I used with my template that I created uh, from tracing and then doing bigger sizes with my um, dollar store coffin box. So I just trace that shape and then I use the mats to make a bigger shape. So um, this was a piece of her paper that I backed on itself. I just folded it and then glued it together so it's nice and sturdy and then um, created this little tag with that. I just love that image. I love the colors, they're gorgeous. Here is a postcard that was in the collection. So what I did with that was I am, um, she has these little tabs. I cut that out, put it at the top, and you can see this is the paper that I printed it on um, with the office store. I made another tag with the journal paper, and then here is one of her cut apart pockets, and I just glued that to the back of that. Another little tag from the kit, backed again with the journal paper, and this one had a skull on it, so I just absolutely adore that. Um, this was like a torn piece of cut apart that she has in her collection, and I backed it with another one that she has in this collection, and then just put that in there as a tag. On here, I took one of the papers that she had, and I folded it to create a page and created another tag shape. And then here is a pocket that comes in the paper kit. And then I used a strip that was left over to whoop, to create kind of a tag piece that goes in there. And I just love him, he's gorgeous. Another one of my coffin shapes. And again, this is all from her paper collection. So you can see there's all kinds of different images and I can't wait. So November 1st, she's gonna be sending out another one. So, you know, if you guys go and sign up, you might have time to get one before, you know, um, or get, you know, the next kit. So they're just all gorgeous kits. I just love them. Here's another postcard that came in the collection. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I backed it on the paper, the journal paper. So we have lots of journal spots. So this is what, so the journal paper comes eight and a half by 11. So there's two sides to the journal paper and it looks like a torn page. So I folded this one in half and glued it together and then I cut around and kind of tried to create, you know, the shape and the, the cut edges of the paper. And then I just used it as a journal page. So I thought that was cool. And then another graphic 45 tag that I had in my stash. And this is another one of the images. So I just cut a piece out for the front and then the other side for the back and made that. But that is my, my really beautiful tag junk journal album that I created using a dollar store coffin and let me go grab it real quick i want to show you what it looks like so here's the lid to that 
And I got, again, Dollar Tree, and um, it was Dollar Tree. That's where I got it from. It was a buck 25, and it had a bottom to it. I'm going to show you that in a second, but that's what I used to create my first shape. And then I just used my Magic Matter um, to create the bigger shape. So all in all, I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different coffin shapes. And I used heavyweight um cardstock on some of them and then I just kind of um, used some lightweight chipboard so I had you know stuff in my stash so I used that to create the shape so the biggest one here measures five and a half by nine and five eight so I could make a, a bigger size but I'm going to do that so with the rest of this I'll show you this real quick I created this coffin I've seen this kind of thing all over the place and uh, like Michael's had one that looked kind of similar so I just thought well I'm going to use this and then so I got the lights from Dollar Tree as well and I uh, put them through there was a hole in the bottom so I just thread them through um, the bottom of this and then th I glued it onto the back so I can turn it off and on Okay, and then I just went through my stash and I grabbed some flowers and some spiders and I had this little skeleton and I just kind of hot glued everything in there. And in the dark, it looks really, really cool. But then also I can take it and when I'm ready to be done um, with Halloween and pack it up, I can turn it off, take the batteries out and close it up and then I can save this for next year. So that's what I used to make this. I should have showed that at the very beginning. But um, yeah, this is a really cool paper collection go check it out daisy journal company and um you're gonna love it you're gonna absolutely love it so thanks for watching i will see you again soon with more tutorials and things and fun stuff so have a great day i will see you later Bye bye